we're at orientation and getting a tour of Magic Kingdom where we're going to work and there's like nobody here and I love it. Just a tad. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. It's so big. Get this car and drive around town. So you are on this road. Do you love my family here? Oh, I think you're the wonderful idea. It's so sweet. We're still in orientation, but we're going on the haunted mansion. So, I had orientation today, and I got my costume. Lovely, isn't it? My job is outdoor foods, which means I'm going to be like everywhere. So this is like the training general uniform. If you're going to do outdoor foods at Magic Kingdom, this is what you're going to be wearing for the first, at least for the first week, um, because each land has a different costume. You'll probably be in more than one costume. You have to have your hair put back. You can only wear like stud type earrings. I've got Mickey Mouse earrings. And you can't wear a ring, which means... Well, you can't wear a ring, but it has to be solid. It can't have any diamonds or any little nicks or anything on it. So this is going to have to go. You're not allowed to wear any bracelets. You can't wear any necklaces. That includes the pin trading lanyards. But somebody said something about having like a little pin training pouch. So I'm going to look into getting one of those because I really like pin trading and I think that's a cool thing to be able to share with the guests. I got my earning my ears ribbon. So, which not everybody gets one because two of my roommates don't have one. Yeah, that's pretty much for that. I'm going to get out of my costume and tell you more about orientation. So at orientation, then you get like a general tour of all the different areas of the park wherever you're working. So I'm working at Magic Kingdom, we got kind of like a general tour of all the different uh, lands. I get more of kind of like a tour of the underground tunnels because you have to figure out where you're supposed to go for work and how you're supposed to get there and where you're not allowed to go. For orientation, they let you wear like tennis shoes. So they give you shoes like tennis shoes for work, but they're in the Disney look. So. There you go. You do get uh, quite a few breaks. You get they give you like water breaks. They give you um, like a short snack break, and they give you a 45 minute lunch break. And so it's kind of like practice for working. Except you don't really have to do any work. At the end of the orientation, they do have a few e-training classes, um, kind of like what you had for your training day. But these are specifically for working as a Disney employee. Get your costume, as I showed you mine already. Um, they do like a costume fitting. That is really interesting. You have to be patient and work with the cast members because sometimes they get really, I think they get agitated after work with so many people, especially us girls who are like, um, I'm not that size, I'm smaller than that size. Well, odds are you're probably that size because the Disney costumes shrink because they've been washed over and over again. So, just guess larger and then go smaller. Also, for those driver, for drivers out there who want to drive to work, as soon as you get your ID uh, and your name tag, you can drive to the training orientation or whatever, as long as you know where you're going. But like the roads can get a little confusing, so work to the wise. That's about it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please message me or comment in the video. Yeah, I have my first official training work day tomorrow. So yeah, I work every single day for the rest of the week. Um, eight hour shifts, some a little longer. I don't know. It'll be interesting. I'm staying positive. It's going to be fun. I'm studying the park map because apparently I thought I knew everything about Magic Kingdom. I don't. So, yeah. Until next time. Bye bye. Have a magical day. I'm gonna beat you. I'm totally gonna beat you. Yes, I am. And I'm gonna beat you guys too. Yes. They don't care at all. It's been so weird. You have to hit the
Score. And remember to infinity and beyond.